Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I've got to go to mobile communications after work. Are you looking at getting a new cell phone? No, I'm just having mine repaired. My flight from New York leaves in the morning and I have a few conference calls lined up while I'm there. Save your receipts. I'm pretty sure the company pays for all business-related expenses. Number 41. Why is the woman going to the cell phone store? Number 42. How will the woman get to New York? Number 43. What does the man suggest the woman do? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon and welcome to Fiber Optics Plus. What can I do for you? Well, I have an appointment to meet with Marty Klein. Sure. I'll contact Mr. Klein's secretary up on the fifth floor. Who can I tell her is here? My name is Kevin Fleming and I'm here to discuss an employment opportunity with the company. Number 44. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number 45. What floor is Mr. Klein's office on? Number 46. Why does the man want to meet with Mr. Klein? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. We've run out of bagels and rolls, and we still have quite a few reservations tonight. Where did you go? I just stopped by the bakery down the street. Don't worry, we have enough dinner rolls for the evening. Oh, great. Would you give me a hand? A customer at the table closest to the window would like some more coffee. Sure, I'll go over right away. Number 47. Where most likely does this conversation take place? Number 48. Why was the woman worried? Number 49. What will the man probably do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Judy. Are you still free for dinner tonight? I know a great new restaurant downtown. Oh, Barry, I'm sorry. I forgot it's my parents' wedding anniversary tonight. We're throwing a party at the Falcon Hotel down by the lake. Would you like to come along? That would be great. I'd love to meet your family. Have you already reserved a table? No, but I think I will call during our lunch break. I heard the view from the hotel is just beautiful. Number 50. What are the speakers talking about? Number 51. Who is the celebration for? Number 52. What will Judy most likely do next? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. 
Sorry to interrupt, but I got this shirt for my birthday a couple of days ago, and it seems to be missing a few buttons. Could I exchange it for another one? Sure. It shouldn't be a problem as long as it was purchased within the past 14 days. Do you have the receipt? I'll need to verify the purchase date. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't given the receipt. It was a present from my friend. She just gave it to me on Thursday, though, so I'm pretty sure she bought it recently. I'm extremely sorry. Unfortunately, it's store policy that all refunds and exchanges must be accompanied by the original receipt. Number 53. When did the man receive the shirt? Number 54. What is inferred about the shirt? Number 55. What does the woman ask the man for? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. Is this the shipping and receiving office? My name is Patricia Litton and I'm expecting some documents to arrive this morning. I was wondering if they've been delivered. Just a moment, Miss Litton. I'll look into that for you. No, I'm sorry there doesn't seem to be anything here for you. Would you be able to check under my assistant's name? Her name is Wanda Green. There should be two envelopes containing approximately five documents each. Yes, there are some packages addressed to Miss Green. I was just about to distribute the mail. I'll be around to deliver them shortly. Number 56. What are the speakers discussing? Number 57. Who is Miss Green? Number 58. What will the man most likely do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Rebecca, do you know where the Samson file is? I wanted to look over the financial charts before our meeting this afternoon. I thought I saw Jack with it in the boardroom. Why? What pages in particular were you interested in? We're hoping to increase profits, so I wanted to do a sales and cost analysis. I'd like to also take a look at each sales representative's figures. That's a great idea. That way we can see who is doing well and which people need a little more training. Then we can work in a new course schedule. Number 59. Where is the file? Number 60. What specific files does the man wish to see? Number 61. What does the woman suggest? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for contacting Jones and Plain Marketing Incorporated. This is Diana Plain. What can I do for you? Hello, this is Francis Smith calling from the Littleton Manufacturing Company. I'm calling to inform you that we've decided to go with your advertising campaign and would like to send you a deposit. That's great, sir. Which bank will you be transferring the funds from? Our account is with the London City Bank on Westchester Avenue. Oh, and I'd also like to schedule a meeting with your executives to discuss our promotional video for some time after September 18th. Number 62. Where does the woman work? Number 63. What is the purpose of the man's call? Number 64. What does the woman request? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. 
Rick, I stopped by the construction site last night. I'm a little nervous. It doesn't look like the renovations will be complete in time for the grand opening of my offices. We have been a little delayed because some of the materials didn't arrive on time, but we still hope to be ready in time for the event. Well, the event is scheduled for October 10th, so I was hoping to have the furniture delivered by the last week of September. That shouldn't be a problem. Even if a few more shipments are late, we should still have enough time to be ready by the 1st of October. Number 65. Who most likely is the woman? Number 66. Why were the renovations delayed? Number 67. What does the woman expect to do in October? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Do you know whether Josh will return from his holiday before the marketing conference begins on Wednesday? He's scheduled to arrive at Fenway International Airport on Wednesday afternoon, so I don't think he'll be back to work until Thursday. Do you think we should postpone the meeting? That won't be necessary. I'll just have Susan give her notes on the guest speakers to Josh when he gets back. Okay, but I will not make any changes to the meeting schedule. Number 68. What are the speakers talking about? Number 69. Where is Josh? Number 70. What does the woman say she will do?